Our next story is another example of individuals helping animals in trouble. At Rome's newly renovated historical zoo, now named the Bioparco, Chief Veterinarian Dr. Klaus Friedrich looks after some 80 red-footed tortoises confiscated from smugglers at the Rome airport. They were in a suitcase. Yeah? They are completely dehydrated. They didn't eat for a lot of time. We don't know for how long, really. And now we, we check them. The animal seems empty inside. It's really light. It should weigh up to 500, 600 grams and more, but uh, I estimate it's only 300 grams. So the animal did not eat and it's a real bad condition. But as you can see, they get now a lot of good food. They have fresh fruits and uh, vegetables, and we hope that they will recover soon. They need a lot of humidity. It's not like the Mediterranean, uh, turtles we, we, we are used to here in Italy, the Testudo Hermani or the Testudo Greca, but they need this artificial rain we create for them and also all the, the ground to see these uh, wood, wood chips. These wood chips, uh, they are quite humid, they keep the humidity and the animals prefer it really. And you see how they recover with the right management. Dr. Friedrich says on the black market, each of these critters could be sold for almost $2,000 a piece. That's the biggest one of the group. He's a big old male. He could be also more than 40 years. He's strong, huh? And there, here you can see the reason for their name. No, they are red-footed, they have these red spots on their feet. Also being cared for is this large African tortoise, who is a special case for Dr. Friedrich. It's one of the, the biggest in the world. We have the giant, three types of giant tortoises, and after the Aldabra and the Galapagos, this is the third one. And as you can see, this animal has some difficulties to walk around because it's completely blind. That animal was taken by the police from a private guy that had it with other animals and he didn't care properly uh, on this animal here. And uh, we went there, we took the animal and we noticed immediately that he couldn't see. In the first weeks we kept him in a small enclosure so he could uh, find his way around also without uh, the eyesight. And uh, now he's, yeah, okay, he will stay blind all his life but he's much, much, much better. In the beginning he was completely dehydrated, uh, he was extremely underweight and the keepers working with these animals with a lot of care uh, every day, uh, with everyday work, they uh, managed to recover that animal in this way and uh, I'm quite happy about that. It's really, it's really shocking to see that, not to think that people don't respect the animal. Uh, because you can't put an animal in a suitcase just and, and, and uh, treat it like an object. Huh? And uh, these people who do that uh, are doing really bad. Uh, and each time we are happy when we can help and we can rescue some of these animals and give them uh, a new life. Animal Rescue returns right after this brief break. 